Okay, I might have to stand up and shake my head a little because I have like two rolls in the back of my head right now. Hold, please. Okay. I'm back. and I come to you with these buns on my head and a towel over my shoulder because today we are going to be trying out the three row comb from Denman. I want to see if this could possibly serve as a way to shingle my hair. I have tried shingling in the past. It never really works out that great for me um, because it just creates frizz and then even when you rake through with your fingers it only makes a few sections of hair and you have to sit there and try to separate them out so I feel like the what do you call these bristles or something I'm hoping that the the um, comb like the fact that it has three rows will help to further separate my hair and create that shingling look without frizz and without having to take a long time to shingle as well because everyone who does shingle successfully I hear them say that it takes a really long time so I'm gonna go rinse out the back section of my hair we're gonna do this wash and go use this comb and then we'll also do a little bit of the front section as well because the front of my hair is a different curl pattern from the back of my hair Whew. All right, section number one, we ready. I forgot to light the background, so we got that going on too. All right, so I put in um, the Sweet Nature by Eddie Leaven all throughout my hair, and I'm coming in with Wetland Extreme Gel to style my hair and getting a healthy amount of that on here. Because I think in the past when I've tried to shingle, I ain't have enough product on my hair, so I'm gonna make sure that my hair has a decent amount of product. It's nice and slippery. All right, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like when I usually rake through, which is how I normally style my hair. You can see it's only creating like four different sections, and that's that. I guess I'll come close for, see? That's what the hair looks like. Hopefully I'm in frame when I turn my head. So I'm gonna come through with a comb, which, oh, I can already see a lot more sections. And the product is helping the comb glide through. From root to tip. All right, let's look at it. Yeah, a whole lot more sections, and I really didn't spend a lot of time doing it. Okay, okay, we 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 gonna see what it's talking about. I'm gonna do a couple more in this section, kind of speed through it on the camera, and then we will do some uh, section in the front to see what comes of that. Okay, so I did my hair off camera, the left side, and I will say that it went a lot faster because I was not on camera and I was in a mirror. But I'm seeing right now that it kind of is creating a little bit of frizz in this area, but it is really separated, but it's just a little frizzy because I think that it's taking some of the product off of my hair. And thankfully for me, a part of my routine is like re-wetting my hair and adding some more gel like as a finisher. So that's probably what I'm gonna have to do just to bring back some of the curls that were introduced to the frizz. So I'm now moving to the front and the front of my hair definitely has a different curl pattern and it's a little easier to work with. So you still have to rake through with your fingers to free the ends, which so this is definitely an extra step because I'm still having to rake, which is what I normally do. But let's see. Let's go this way. I got too ambitious and jumped up too far. Let's <laughs> see. Okay, going through very easily. And what do we got here? Yep. Yeah. It's doing about like the back. I still feel like in this area, a little bit of definition is being lost. 
um, and because of product. Okay, so here are the final thoughts and the final results. I find that using the three row comb is an extra thing. Once I finger detangle my hair or rake through my hair, which is what I do anyway, I then do the comb because you have to do that before you do the comb, making it extra. Also, I found that my ends were long. My hair was being separated, but the middle parts of my hair to kind of where the roots are, it created frizz because I think it's because of product being removed. So I actually tried to save this wash and go because the ends are super curly, but my hair was up here, which normally my hair hangs to about armpit length when it is wet. So um, I went back over, re-wet it a little, and reapplied some product, which is kind of difficult because I am like wetting my hair in the kitchen and then walking back in here is what I've been doing for this video. So hopefully I was able to salvage this wash and go because it just wasn't doing how I wanted it to do. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I always get caught on these, not a big deal. So yeah, adding more product definitely salvaged it for the places that were getting frizzy across the front and stuff, cause that's the part everybody gonna see, right? So we getting in there, I definitely added more water and more product and it seemed to save my hair a little bit. And the ends, I can't tell with the lighting if you can see, but the ends are definitely more separated and my hair is back elongated how it normally looks. This is typically what my hair looks like when I finish it and I know the wash and go finna be bomb. Am I gonna incorporate this, my, this into my regimen? No, because I really feel like my hair looks pretty decent with just the finger raking that I do and then I slightly remove some of the clumps. But I'll deal with the clumps because <laughs> this, was, this was a lot, okay? So thank you so much for continuing to watch my videos. I will see you guys, talk to you guys in the next one.